Good morning, 52 degrees at 9.15 a.m. here on Wednesday, February 1st. I guess it is February 1st. Welcome to a slightly better month than January. We lost all of our snow overnight in some uh, very light rain showers. It's actually not supposed to rain today now. And uh, we might actually have some more sun and just about 50. So 10 degrees cooler than yesterday, but hey, that's not bad for February 1st. Uh, let's we'll see if we can get next to a five series. That is his, his fourth backup attempt. Is <laughs> <laughs> he just staring? Yeah, he's gotten better. I don't know why he's taking so long. Why is there nobody here? It's a snow day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's a good question. I mean, it is 9.20. We have 15 minutes, I guess. Let's see if there's any BMWs we can park next to. We got an Audi. More Kia Rio. Volkswagen Vessels A6. Very funny. And a police car. And a Nissan. I don't see any Kia Rios. No Kia Rios. Kia Rios. There's a Civic. All right, we go park next to Jasco, then there's nothing nice to park to. Including his car. Even, even those 540s aren't here. Your 528s aren't here yet. I don't know. And that is a rarity. Oh no, there's a Kia Rio. Oh! There's a Kia Rio! Oh wow! The man just parked up. <laughs> I wonder where his brother is. Oh, they had to come in early, right? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to school. All right, guys, uh, it's 11.12, and I'm done with the first class out of two today. I have contemporary math, and uh, then I have an off period, which is when we went to Cleveland last week, and uh, then I have engineering drawing, too. So I get to come home for lunch, and uh, it's actually from 11.08 to 1.30, so that's a real nice break in the middle of the day. But I'm gonna go home, grab something to eat, and uh, maybe catch up on some stuff. This is a good time in the week to, uh, you know, I kind of have the time mentally allocated for school, so it'll be nice to actually have it free to catch up on stuff. Well, that was nice. I uh, had lunch out in the sunroom, watched my vlog from a year ago. We had another snow day. It's 61 degrees. I've got windows down, sunroof open. I did throw on a light jacket. Um, but I'm gonna head downtown real quick and then back to the office by 1.30. It's 12.58 now and it's quite nice. It feels great to have windows down. It's a little cool. If it were summer and it were 60 degrees, I'd probably have gloves on, but this is very, very nice. All right, just got everything closed up. It's uh, 1.21, the bell rings at 1.25. You don't have to be in the class and seated until 1.30, so I've got plenty of time to uh, go get in and finish up the last class of the day, which should be pretty simple. Then it's home time, and I don't really have a whole lot to do um, tonight and this afternoon, so that'll be good. Uh, I do actually have to read a couple page short story for the sci-fi class, but that doesn't look like it'll be bad. And then tomorrow should be okay, Friday should be alright, and then we're into the weekend. And um, these tastes of spring are, are going to ruin me. Driving around with windows down and the sunroof open. Yeah, I had the heated seat on and the heat on. I didn't turn the fan all the way up. I didn't need to. It's pretty nice. It's 59 degrees. But it uh, looks like we got a pretty nice Nissan over here. If you like Nissans. So uh, I'll go get this done and I'll talk to you in uh, about an hour and 40 minutes. Alright, it's 9 o'clock now. Uh, I got that class done. That went pretty well. I I don't know why everybody in there, they get a project and uh, they don't even start on it for a couple days. And You know, we have an allocated amount of time for it. Well, I, I shouldn't say that because we actually don't because he just sees our progress and he's like, all right, you guys need a week from here, a week later. Yeah, you need another six days. And it just kind of goes on and on and on. So anyways, the goal for uh, Monday or Tuesday rather was to get our project picked. Um, and make the sketches. So I did that. The goal for today was to start making our sketches in Pro Engineer, the software we're using on the Macs. Actually in Windows on the Macs, but on Mac hardware. Um, so that's exactly where I am. Most people haven't even picked their project, and the ones that have haven't begun their sketches yet. So I am way ahead. Anyways, this car was made February 2000. Today's February 1st, 2012. It is 12 years old. I realized that after I spent uh, just under four hours today, from 310 until about 650 or so. Washing, waxing, cleaning the interior. I didn't even plan on doing that. There was quite a bit of salt on it. 
And you know how my projects get es escalated. I backed it out and like, I'll just rinse this all off. I got that done, I wasn't cold, still had plenty of sunshine left. Uh, so I got the soap and I got the salt off with the soap. And then I rinsed it off and I'm like, okay, I might as well dry it. So I went upstairs, got some different towels because the other ones I'm using don't absorb any water anymore. So I need to get new ones. Um, and then I washed and then I dried it and while drying it, I noticed the paint was just it, really nasty from the salt, I guess, ate through a lot of the wax. So I got a new coat of wax on it. Now I'm waiting for the tire stuff to dry, uh, but it is just silky smooth. It feels phenomenal. And I'm going to have a lot of work to do once spring is really here. Down on this lower panel below, all of the doors and every anything below this detail in the bodywork here uh, is just not in good shape. And I did the same thing last year. It gets those little rust spots in the clear coat that come out relatively easily, a little bit of pressure uh, with something hard under a towel and they come out. But I'm going to do that in the spring. They're not really noticeable on camera. But uh, I know they're there and that will piss me off. So I'm waiting for this to dry, then I'm going to clean that up. And, uh, it's about perfect now, which is, which is good, aside from the work I'm going to do in a couple months, um, which is a big job. It took a long time last year, about three hours just to do that, with wax, of course. Um, so it's not supposed to rain now until next Monday, and even so, it's a 30% chance. So hopefully I'll be able to enjoy a somewhat clean car now for a couple days. So I'm going to try not to drive it on any big trips or anything. The roads are still covered in salt in some cases, but we've got ourselves another big moon out here, and this is a really long clip, so we'll stop here. And we'll start again here. Today was 60, pretty sunny. Tomorrow is, well right now it's about 45. Tomorrow is going to be about 39, but sunny. Take it, I guess. We're having water guys come out. We don't have city water out here. Everybody has their own independent well. And that is so much more expensive than city water due to the purification systems that you don't have to. A lot of people don't have them around here, but we do. We have a clear water. We have five or six tanks in the basement that clean and treat. And it, it's a nice system. We've had it 10 years. Most of the part, most of the system lasts 15 to 20 years, but there's one tank that lasts between five and 10. It's done. We're noticing the water's not um, as, as clean and pure. It doesn't look good. It's not, it's not dangerous to drink or bathe in, but we're having guys come out tomorrow. It's a $1,500 tank and a filter that they're going to put in. And that means we don't have to put in this chemical every month. Usually every month we have to put in $50 worth of chemicals. The new system, you don't have to do that. So pay $1,500 now, you'll save yourself $500 or $600 a year on that. So I guess that's good. And uh, that's about ready to come off. Any fellow car guys use this Meguiar's tire foam thing? It supposedly cleans, shines, and protects tires. So in the summer, I use it every time I wash it. Now that I've just been rinsing it off and doing half-ass wash jobs, I haven't been doing it. Uh, and I notice the tires get dirty, it's just like dirt gets stuck in them. So I take that and uh, that cleans the dirt out. That was weird, right? The door opens and I guess they are home. I was kind of under the impression that they weren't. Hoping they are, because somebody just put towels there. So since I did a full job today, I figure I might as well take the 10 minutes and put this on. My only problem with it is it's supposed to be a really... Uh, uh, a clean stream of this stuff from four to six inches away onto the tire and it is it's pretty good but it still gets all over the outside portion of the rim and if you're not careful it'll come up here and get all over your fender or your bumper or whatever and then you've got to clean that off so you kind of need a towel and some patience to do it but it does look nice so i guess i'll keep that up so there we go happy 12th birthday mr m5 i don't know the production date on this but it's a 2007 maybe Oh well. Maybe it would say inside the door. Next time it's unlocked and I'm out here, uh, I don't know where the keys are, but I don't know. It's an 07. We got it um, Labor Day 2007 and it's had two sets of tires on it. And the problem is these, what are they? They're Goodyear uh, Eagle F1s. They're good tires, but they just don't last. And this pair of tires only, or this set of tires only has maybe 30,000 miles on them, if that. Probably closer to 20 to 25,000 miles. And they are, I would say, 90% worn. And they need to be replaced. We should have done it before winter. Uh, one, they're not cheap. They're nearly as much as my Michelin Pilot Sports, which I think are better tires, and they're much larger. But uh, you remember when we had that sneak, that freak snowstorm I told you about? Oh, the BMW T3. So we had that freak snowstorm, and on the way home, she pulled in the driveway here. I was in the passenger seat. 
probably five miles an hour, not doing anything she shouldn't be doing. It's exactly how I would have pulled in the driveway. She turns the wheel left, it kind of goes left, but ends up over here in the yard. I'm realizing you can't see it now. So now I've got another area that I'm gonna have to work with in the spring to get some more sod down there or whatever, and clean that up. Uh, but the grip isn't good. I mean, I notice when the roads are wet. That's not a powerful car. I mean, it's a V6. It's like 260 horsepower or something. That's pretty decent. Um, maybe 240, I don't know. But if you hit the gas, maybe 50%, it just spins the tires. And then the, vers the what does Honda call it? Versatile stability agent comes in and, um, and figures that out. But the front ones do all the accelerating and the braking because somebody thinks front wheel drive is a good idea. And uh, there really isn't more than about five millimeters of tread left. However, it's not down to the tread bar yet, so I guess they're still legal. And as you know, I have to fill this one up with air about every three weeks. It goes from 32 pounds at once 29. I usually overinflate a few pounds. Actually, I shouldn't in the winter, right? That's a summer thing. You don't overinflate in the winter. Uh, but I put about 30 to 32 pounds in it, and three weeks later, it's down to 20 or, or less. I've seen it at 10. So <sighs> maybe in the spring, we'll put new. I wish Goodyear Assurance, those are good tires. I don't know if they make the low profile tire though. We'll have to look into that. All right, it's 10.30, I wanna get this up. It's a little on the longer side, I apologize for that. But I'm just sitting here talking to uh, Kenan, uh, listening to some music, and I'm ready to, to upload the vlog. And I just cleaned the MacBook Pro display for the first time in like a month. It was really bad. So now it's nice. Anyways. I'm going to finish this. I actually read a, a short story for sci-fi. It was really good. It's called The Imposter. It's a sci-fi story. If you find it, go ahead and read it. I usually don't recommend reading anything, but it was actually pretty good. So, um, it's 10.30, and I'll talk to you tomorrow on Thursday already. Good night, guys.